Hi guys, welcome to part 11 of Angular tutorial series for absolute beginners by Tech Tech Tutors in 2019. Friends, in today's video tutorial, we will be talking about Angular modules, that what are they, how to create them and how to use them in Angular. So without any if and buts, let's get into the tutorial. So here is a small presentation of Angular modules that in every Angular app, we have at least one module that is called a root module and in angular app it's called app module and that app module is a root module of your angular app so whenever you create a new angular app you will have a app module as your root module so because an angular app is a modular application so that is why it is based on modules and you have a one default module and then you can create as many modules as you want like you can separate your logic with every module Furthermore, a module is simply a TypeScript class with the decorator at the rate ng module. So any class, it, it uh, of course, this Angular module class have a, a same class name as a TypeScript class and only the difference with other cl class file or other TypeScript file is that it uses at the rate ng module before creating or exporting the class and it uses at the rate ng module decorator. So this decorator represents that this class or this file belongs to an module so each module in the application has its own component directive services they should be declared in ng module decorator so as we have seen that when we created a component in the last video tutorial we add it inside our ng module directive under the declaration array so that is because we want to use that component so we have added it in our app module component so we can create as many uh, module as we want as i said earlier so in that in each module we can have their own components their own directives their own services and their own classes in it so then we uh, then we combine all of those module to achieve us a goal or a target so module can cooperate to achieve some app functionality as I mentioned just right now that you create module to cooperate the, and, or achieve some app functionality. So let's see that uh, how can we create modules in Angular app and uh, how can we relate them or how, how can we cooperate or use them with our app module to achieve a certain functionality. So let's get into a practical example. So to understand the modules and their cooperation or how they work and why do we need other modules as we have a default app module inside Angular app, consider an example where we have we are going to create an application or a web application in Angular which uses two types of user where we, where we can use or where we have created two kinds of user. One is called a customer or the other one is called an admin. So just consider an e-commerce website where we have an admin who can create products who can list then he can list the products in the front end and customers can purchase those products and the admin have his own dashboard where he can see how many customers I have how many orders do we have and other things other analytics or statistics on his dashboard whereas a customer has his own dashboard where the customer can see what he ordered what is the process is it in pending is it in processing or it is completed and how many products did he purchase from this particular website how much does he pay to this website and how much and, and some other analytics and statistics he can see on his dashboard he can change his profile he can edit some information like he can change his credit card information etc and etc etc so in this scenario or in this situation we do need we can do this thing with components as well we can create different components but at the same time we need to use too much if and buts to create our logic so to simplify this logic we simply create two different modules and two different independent modules they work independently regardless of each other and at the same time we integrate them with our app module to achieve a functionality where admins or other users can create products and where customers or users can purchase them and they can have their own dashboards so let's see what exactly do I mean by doing this and how can we achieve this within our angular so let's go to our uh, VS code here I'm in the VS code right now so in the VS code what I do what do I need to do is simply first of all I have to create a, there is some sorts of error are going on so let me see why these errors are coming can I find module Core. okay let me see why this is coming let me fix it then I'll get back to you okay I simply closed the application and then reopened it and my problem was resolved I don't know why this problem was coming so now everything is 
okay and we have an app module here so as i discussed as we discussed in our scenario we need to create two different modules customer module and admin module so let's create those two components and as of as of our ng uh, uh, previous uh, tutorial where i show you ng commands uh, cli commands we have ng generate module command so what it will do this will generate a module whatever the name we give it so we will call it admin so it will create a new file admin.module.ts file so ng generate module admin so it created an admin folder then within that admin folder it created admin.module.ts file so let's create another one customer so this will create a customer folder and then inside customer folder it will create customer.module.ts file so we have created two separate modules now we can generate components for each and every module as we have a default module called app component for the app module so same we can do with the admin and with the customer so let's generate a new component for admin module for to generate admin module component what i need to do is ng generate component admin and this is the folder name where admin module exists then i will do dashboard or i can do admin dashboard component so it will create a component inside admin with the name of admin dot dashboard dot component dot ts and other related template files so simply i created it right now you can see it created three files app uh, admin dash dashboard dot component dot css html and ts file inside admin dashboard and the cool thing is that that it updated the app admin admin module it did not update it app module.ts file it updated only admin.module.ts file because angular knows that we have created a component within a folder called admin and they already exist a module and i need to update that module not the root module so same thing goes with customer dashboard so i will call it customer dashboard and simply oh sorry i just mistakenly added it in admin so it will be updated inside the admin so let me change it so i will be creating it in customer module so now it created inside the customer folder a customer dash dashboard so let me remove it from here and as well as i have to remove it from the this part as well so that it should it be imported inside admin so it's imported inside customer module so you see we have created a, a two components as well so i will just admin dashboard works you can see here and it will be saying that customer dashboard works so customer dashboard works so let me show both of them inside our app module and see how we can relate other modules with our app module in upcoming videos when we will be talking about uh, routing and navigation then we will see how can we navigate and how can we go from one link to another link using a router module so when we will come to the router module there are many other built-in modules inside angular as well like forms module router module and some other cool modules inside we will discuss them later so for the time being i have created two different modules admin and customer so let me integrate both of them within our app component and show its property on the screen or what I mean on the screen here where it shows homework home works in the below it will show admin dashboard works and below that it will show me that customer dashboard works so for the time being I am doing like this only so to import those modules first of all I need to go to app module and I need to import both of them import uh, admin dashboard module it is called admin dashboard module here you can see admin dashboard component oh, sorry this is the component this is admin module sorry it is called admin module not admin dashboard module it is called admin module so i need to call it admin module from dot slash admin slash admin module simple is that and then i will import customer module from dot slash customer slash customer module and we i have imported both of those modules then i know yeah, you might know that we need to add these two modules inside our imports array so always can remember that whenever we import any of the component which is a module in angular we have to import them inside our import array of ng module so i will do ng admin module and then customer module and we have done it we have imported both components so what do you think now if i use inside app component dot html file like this app dash admin 
dashboard. How do I know this? Because in the admin, if I go to admin dashboard component.ts file, it shows me app admin dashboard selector. So this selector I have to use in app.component.html file. And the same goes for app dash customer dash dashboard. So I know that inside customer folder I have customer app customer dashboard here. So do you think it will work? Let's see. I will be saving this app component and then I will reload the application. It will automatically reload and let me see in that so it's compiled successfully and if I reload you see my application got broken down and if I inspect element in the console it will show me that app admin dashboard is not a known element. Why is it? Because although we have imported it inside our app module.ts file but still it is not a known module. So how to make it known module? Simply inside admin go to your admin module and add an extra parameter or extra key value pair is called exports and inside exports we need to export the component so which component admin dashboard component and we have imported it here as well so we need to export it as well so same goes for the customer go to the customer module.ts file and comma exports customer dashboard component after saving this file and you will see that now we can see admin dashboard works customer dashboard works so now you understand we can create as many components inside our admin folder or admin module related with admin module and we can first export them within that module that component we have to export it and then when we import that particular module inside our root module or app module then we can use it as easily one more thing you have to remember before I close this video tutorial that make sure that each of your components or each of your modules component have a separate selector name there shouldn't be a conflict between selector names means I can call it like if I go here I can call it app dashboard if I call it app dashboard and inside if I go to inside admin and admin dashboard and then I will call it admin dashboard uh, sorry ad app dashboard as well so now what will happen that if I inspect element we, over application has been broken down it will complain app admin sorry let me first change this one as well so let's see I have used app dash dashboard here dash dashboard and same I have added here app dash dashboard because we have two dashboards one is for admin and one is for customer so now it will complain to me that error template parser more than one component match on the element so what it is complaining about that more than one component matched on this element we have created two elements and these two elements matched with the two elements so if I create only one even then it will complain the same thing because it did not know it doesn't know which app dashboard should I load either from the admin or from the customer so it can get confused so to create or overcome this confusion you have to put here a separate name app admin dash dashboard so then in the customer we have to add you can call it app dashboard no problem with that but make them unique so app customer dashboard so after that if I go to app dot component and now I can add app dash admin home app dash admin sorry let it to be app home and we need to add it here admin dashboard so this one is app home basically so copy it paste it and rename it as well so admin and this one is customer and this one is customer that's fine so now if I go back to my application and now it works fine and both components from different modules has been successfully integrated and we have achieved the functionality so anything we change in admin component it will affect on the admin dashboard and anything we change in the customer will affect the customer module so this is it this is our tutorial for today's so today you learn what are the modules inside angular and how to create them using cli and how to use them and how to make them cooperate and work with our root module or you can even use this admin module within our customer module or customer module within your admin module that is pretty fine and you can understand it from the current task flow so guys this is it hopefully you liked uh, you will be you will like this video tutorial if you did please do consider and subscribe to our tech tech tools channel and Press the like button for this video as well and don't forget to press the bell icon. So thank you very much. Take care and goodbye.